In other videos, we have established how to work with value ranks. You may remember the value rank relates the size of a company to the price you pay for it. And that again, you have to relate to the future of the company. So it's rather complicated. When we spoke about the growth rank and the safety rank, it was a lot easier to use. And for that reason, we want to look at a couple of examples today. I decided to shoot this video in my favorite coffee roastery that does specialty coffee here in Zurich. I come here to relax and think, and that's what we are going to do today. Now, by the time you watch this video, the research that we present here may be already outdated, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is to learn how to work with value rank with real examples. Let's get started. Let's look at companies we know very well, phone companies. I pick Apple and Samsung. Apple has a share price of 188 Swiss francs, and Samsung has a share price of only 45 Swiss francs. Now, which one of those companies is cheaper? <laughs> you actually can't tell, because these two companies differ by the number of shares that they have outstanding. And that's actually true for all stocks. They all differ by the number of shares that are out there in the market. And, and for that reason, comparing share prices is irrelevant. What you need is the Obermott value rank. The value rank relates the share price to the size of the company. Now, when we look at the Obermott value ranks, the value rank of Samsung is 98, and the value rank of Apple is 32. That means Samsung has to outperform only 2% of its competitors with a value rank of 98, and Apple has to outperform 68% of their competitors with a value rank of 32. Now, does this make sense to you? To me, it doesn't make that much sense. I think Apple is a great company. As a matter of fact, I use Apple products. But Samsung seems to be a really cheap company right now. It only has to outperform 2% of their competitors. So when it comes to stock investing, Samsung might be the much better investments because the market investment, because the market expects so much less from Samsung than they expect from Apple. And even if Apple grows more than Samsung, Samsung's share price could appreciate a lot more than Apple. Let's look at another set of companies that we know very well, cars. I have listed here the Obermott value ranks for a selected number of international well-known car companies. As you see from that list, Volkswagen has a value rank of 62. That means its share price is the highest compared to its size, followed by Daimler and BMW. And really cheap companies are Nissan, Honda, Toyota, and General Motors. They all have very high value ranks. Now let's look only at two examples, examples at two companies to make it easier, Volkswagen and Toyota. From the value ranks, it means that Volkswagen must have a much better future than Toyota because it is much more expensive. Does this make sense to you? It doesn't make much sense to me because Toyota is a really great company. They were the first to introduce a hybrid car in the market successfully. And I think the future is electric, so Toyota may as well have an advantage there. When I compare these two stocks directly with each other, Toyota is a lot cheaper and maybe has the even better future than Volkswagen. I would definitely opt for Toyota. Let's look at the more fun case, Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola. You see here the Obermott value ranks for these two companies. Coca-Cola has a value rank of 19, and Pepsi-Cola has a value rank of 39. Now, what do you think about that? One way to argue is, you could say these companies produce sugary caffeine drinks, and these drinks are highly addictive. People will drink more and more of them. And for that reason, their low value ranks are actually justified because they have a great future. Of course, you could also argue the exact opposite. You could say that sugar 
is the next tobacco. And these sugar companies will have the same problems as the tobacco companies. They will have legal backlashes, regulatory issues, and people will drink less and less of them. <laughs> if you believe in that future, of course, low value ranks are actually not justified at all. And you should not buy these companies. And if you, if you have them in your portfolio, you should even sell them. Now you could also be more original and say, people are getting richer and richer. And richer people want more expensive, fresher alternatives, like specialty coffee, which is something I like, and that's why I'm here at Miro. Now, if you believe in that future, then both Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola are not really a good buy with these low value ranks. You then could also be very strategic and say, these are really large companies. Their management teams will diversify into the fresher alternatives. But if you believe in that future, you may also think that these companies don't have a big advantage in the fresher alternatives. As a matter of fact, their brands may work against them. Who wants a fresh specialty comp uh, a drink from Coca-Cola? If you come to that conclusion, you would not buy these companies. Of course, what you can also do, you can compare Coca-Cola to Pepsi-Cola directly with each other. <laughs> and you may be a Pepsi person and say, well, Pepsi has the better value rank and I like Pepsi more than I like Coke. Then I buy Pepsi shares. Of course, you could argue the exact opposite if you're a Coke person. And I don't like sugary drinks. As a matter of fact, for my caffeine, I prefer specialty coffee. So I would not buy these stocks at all. And that's another option. You don't have to buy all the stocks out there in the market. As a matter of fact, you can't. And even if you would buy all the stock, let's say with an index fund, you would only get very tiny fractions of each stock. And that doesn't really matter. So there's nothing to worry about when you decide not to invest in a particular company. Now, what do you do with stocks that you don't know? Actually, I had the same problem. I typically go to the Obermott top 10 list and I don't know all the companies are out there. What I then do is I Google these companies and I've always been surprised what you know, special companies I find out there. For instance, a company specialized on fruit, fresh fruit delivery in Ireland, a company that recycles battery, batteries in Belgium, or a company that produces fabrics out of wood in Austria. Do that yourself. Go to the top 10 list and look at the companies. Google them, find out more. I'm sure you find companies that you really like to support. Try it yourself. 